Wait until you see this. Is this the secret prompt that movie studios don't want you to know about? This could be the prompt that's too real, but that's not it because I also have a second prompt as well. These prompts have been producing some crazy realistic images and you will definitely want to see both of these prompts in action. Now for the first one, this prompt is going to create an exact clone. Almost. I'd say about 50% of the time, it's perfect or very close to perfect. It's no wonder why this just may be a hidden secret. And when it comes to this prompt, I actually found it on this X profile right here. So kudos to the creator for coming up with this. And a quick thanks to our sponsor today, Skillshare, where you can easily learn anything. For example, I currently use Airtable for my prompt organization, but recently I've been wanting to level up and improve my skills with Notion as well. And with Skillshare, there are a ton of classes for Notion where I can level up my skills 10x. But one specifically I really enjoyed was this one right here by Ali Abdal. What happens when I click that? Boom. I was able to effectively create this Notion database right here. It's also in my description for all of you to get yourself. This is the largest online community for creatives to learn with thousands of classes and learning paths for illustrations, graphic design, marketing, productivity, and much more. Learning paths are curated sequential class collections that will allow you to master any skill or competency. So when you join Skillshare, there'll be a link in my description and the first 500 people to use my link will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. And it's actually perfect timing because they just announced some very cool improvements. Smarter class categories, three new class topics, creative careers, creative inspiration, and my favorite, AI and innovation. Plus, you now have the ability to find classes by software and material, and Skillshare will instantly populate tailored recommendations. The kids are back to school, now's the time to learn or improve your skills. And so if you have access to my mega prompts database, the one you're taking a look at right here, right now I am in my AI images section, and just that alone is gonna have thousands of prompts, in addition to all of the other tabs that you see up here at the top, okay? Look at that, look how realistic, for an example, these images are going to look, but these aren't even the best ones, okay? For the best prompt databases you'll ever find, click the links in the description. So now what we're going to do is let's come over here into Midjourney, and I want to show you exactly how to use this first prompt. Remember, this is the first prompt, but I have a second one I want to show you after I show you this one. Okay, look at this image right here. This is incredibly realistic, okay? Now, even better, with the superheroes in mind, look at this one right here, okay? And now also look at this one. I don't think I can get an image that's gonna look more realistic than this. If you're not familiar with who this is. I'm from Guardians of the Galaxy. It doesn't get more realer than this. Okay, same thing with this one right over here. Phenomenal job. Hit that subscribe button. As I scroll up, look at these right here. These prompts are incredibly realistic almost indistinguishable from the actual movies that I referenced with this prompt, okay? This really is this simple. Look, on the right-hand side, it's just Guardians of the Galaxy, comma, stills archive, Disney, but put a space after Disney because you don't want the .com to be connected to it, okay? Now, this prompt specified Guardians of the Galaxy, but we don't wanna start with that first. So this is the first thing you wanna say. Now, if you're using Midjourney, you also may wanna use these additional settings as well. However, it still works either way. Stills archive, comma, okay, Lionsgate. But remember, keep a space between the last letter and then the dot com. And it doesn't have to be Lionsgate. Actually choose your studio. For that, let's just go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. Then we're going to put a specific movie itself to see how realistic these can actually look. And once you see these, your mind's going to be blown. But I do want to mention this will work best in mid journey. But once we find some prompts we really like, we'll also try the same exact prompt in Leonardo AI and Free Pick just to show you the difference in realism. Okay, now here we are. Now check out this first one right here. And now remember, like I said, about 50% of the time, it's gonna nail it pretty good. Now the first one I did, Stills Archive Lionsgate. This looks pretty legit, okay, not bad. The male character, not a clone. But now look as we scroll up. This one is impressive. Stills Archive Disney, now Mickey Mouse, Fantastic. Some of these other images, pretty close. But now when things really start to get good, as I noticed when I used Warner Brothers, this one did phenomenal. Check out this one right here, the Joker. Incredible. Now this one, 
very good for Batman. And now I have this, not really sure what that is, but it looks incredible with that black and white. And then even this one over here, very cinematic. But so far, this Batman one looks exceptional. That one looks amazing as well. The black and white, great job. Does really look like a legit still archive. Now these are gonna be Sony.com. And now look how realistic these look. This looks impressive. But look at this Beauty and the Beast one. I got one right here. This one nailed it out of the park as well. In addition to there is another Batman one, okay? So now now let's try this one more time, but now let's add a specific style of a movie. That is actually how I got these images right here because I gave it the specific movie title. Okay, I said Guardians of the Galaxy, then I did comma stills archive. Okay, so as we're waiting on these images for the new Guardians of the Galaxy one, let's head over to FreePick and Leonardo AI to see what these prompts could do over there. Okay, so first in FreePick, now this did a pretty good job. Now the prompt I used for this one in FreePick was simply stills archive Lionsgate. Now I'll change it up to Flux 1.1 Pro. And now I want to do something a little bit different. Now this time, let's see if it can do HBO.com, okay? HBO space and then .com, okay? Simple and free pick. Stills archive HBO space.com, okay? We'll hit generate on this one. Now while free pick is thinking, let's head over to Leonardo AI and now do the same exact thing over here. Then go to Cinematic Kino. And now let's try the same exact thing here, okay? Now let's head back over to free pick. And now look at this one for HBO.com. Now, this did very well. Now, in Leonardo AI, look how amazing this did. This is phenomenal, okay? All of these look fantastic. This looks very accurate. I love the way this turned out in Leonardo AI as well. So, it did work here pretty well, and it does make a big difference with the actual preset or fine-tuned model you're going to use. If I come back over here into Free Pick, now utilizing Game of Thrones as my theme, okay, pretty cool. Now, I don't notice that specific character. It doesn't look like a character I recognize, but nonetheless, the image does look fantastic. Now, that's the first prompt I want to share with you. Now, I know, of course, you guys could put your own spin on it, and you could probably make these look way better than the ones I'm sharing today. And I would actually love to see some of your creations. But now let's move on to the next one. And to be honest with you, this is going to be perhaps one of the most simplest, most generic things I'm going to tell you. But sometimes amazing things comes in small packages, and this is a very small generic prompt. But you'll be surprised of the level of images this creates. And the prompt really is this simple. It's almost too simple and too generic that it's embarrassing that it makes images this good. But here is where you're going to start. Look at this. Simple. The most realistic, photorealistic photo ever taken. First, put that prompt in just to see the results that you're going to get. Once you do, look at these images right here. That's the first one, pretty good. Look at this second one. That, this is amazing. This one, amazing as well. And now this one, amazing as well. Generic prompt, no real subject, but just putting that in is gonna give you some fascinating results. But now what happens when I actually add a subject? And that's what I did with this one right here, okay? Now for this one, I did the same thing. I said, the most realistic, photorealistic photo ever taken, but now in my bracketed text, I just put a beautiful woman. And now look how good of a job that this did. Fantastic results. Again, taking things to a whole new level, I got these images right here. Here. These look incredible as well. Don't you think I look good? And now let's go down to a free pick and then look at this right here. Again, I just did the very generic one, the most realistic prompt ever. And now look at these results I got right here. And again, you could take things to a whole new level by just adding some bracketed text, any subject that you want. And by the way, as we're on here on free pick, I did just notice, did we miss this image? Okay, this is the same prompt we used earlier where I said stills archive lionsgate.com generic prompt, but it gave me this really cool looking image image. That's pretty amazing. Now let's change the wording in the bracketed text. And now let's just say a uh, supercar. And now what we're going to get is the same exact thing, but instead of a beautiful woman, it's going to be a supercar. And then while those are waiting, let me show you a few more of these other ones we got right here from the stills archive from earlier. There is another Guardians of the Galaxy one. I got to tell you, that's pretty phenomenal. Look at this one right here of Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, the character Groot, phenomenal. 
This one almost looks so real, it's hard to distinguish that this is AI generated compared to the real movie stills image. Fascinating. And then there's another epic battle scene. And now our last but not least prompt, I just said the same thing, generic, most realistic, photorealistic photo ever taken. My subject is a supercar and look at how good of a job that this did. This looks fantastic. Who would have thought the most basic prompt creates the most realistic looking images? Two very basic prompts, but small things come in big packages because these produce some really realistic and amazing looking results. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Turn it back.